one of the things working with state government is uh, we often don't have all the resources or capacity that we wish we had. State agencies collect a, a substantial amount of data, but we're, we're oftentimes data rich and information poor. And when you're talking about something as important as a student's educational future and the path that they may launch themselves into, it's not enough just to go off of a feeling. It's really important to be able to present people with outcomes, with data. The Regional Educational Laboratory and our partnership with them was helpful in shedding light on how programs were being implemented and what resources were needed to implement those programs locally. One of the things that we've always struggled with in trying to serve students better is that handoff from K-12 to higher education. Uh, one of the things that we increasingly started asking ourselves was, how do students perform once they leave our high schools and enter our colleges? Not just uh, four-year degrees uh, or even uh, associate degrees, but certificate programs which play such a critical role. What REL Midwest helped us do was to articulate what are some metrics that we wanted to look at uh, that would help us provide information back to our high schools on how students are performing once they reached college. I think data is a critical element of career and technical education and just generally when you're making decisions about education policy. All state agencies uh, are, are hungry for more capacity. Uh, there's oftentimes there are limited staffing, uh, you've got limited resources. So having a partner like REL come alongside of us and ask some of those, those big picture questions uh, is immensely valuable. We have data people who understand the data but don't necessarily have the time or capacity to run the types of analysis we thought might be necessary. Um, our REL had that capacity to do that um, but could also work with us so that we could learn along the way. I think the Regional Educational Laboratory was a natural fit for our work. Uh, they're a great state partner, they had experience with online learning, um, they certainly had the capacity to provide us with a rigorous evaluation of the program. What we hope to, to learn from our work with the, the REL is how to improve our Virtual Virginia program. The Virginia Department of Education had very little information on how the program was being implemented locally. And so the Regional Educational Laboratory and our partnership with them was helpful in shedding light on how programs were being implemented and what resources were needed to implement those programs locally so that we can better support our school divisions with virtual learning options. Working with research and data, we don't always get to see students face to face, um, but we always have to keep reminding ourselves and, and be aware that the, the decisions we make, the things that we work on, have real impact on real students and real people. Working with the REL was a great experience for us, and I would highly recommend that states take advantage of the resources and expertise that are available in their regions. I would encourage anyone, if you've got something that's any type of project, any type of question that you really want to dig into and just aren't sure where to start, reach out to your REL. Um, they're there to partner with you and to really help you figure out what might be possible. Take a look at what your needs are, work with the people with the REL and, and work on aligning what your needs are with the resources that they offer and I, and I think you'll be able to, to uh, find some matches and have, have some positive outcomes. It's always nice to talk with researchers who um, spend their day on doing nothing but research. Undoubtedly our partnership with REL has expanded our scope of work of what we thought was possible. Uh, if we were to implement this uh, without REL, uh, it would likely not be at the scale that it currently is. Uh, and when you're evaluating and you're working with data like this, it's, it's really important that it does get to that scale uh, so you can trust the reliability and you can trust the validity. Uh, so we would, have not, we would not be where we are today if it were not for REL.